Good morning, everyone. The safety message for the week. Preventing falls. As we talked last week about how to fall, this week it's about preventing falls. Number one on the list, wear the proper footwear. If you work or walk in an environment where slipping hazards are present, we'll want to wear what we refer to as slip resistant shoes. It's vital. These shoes are specifically designed, all right, for gripping purposes and to prevent falls. But it's important. It's important for us to also follow up on that and make sure that we're doing that if you're a leader, okay? <clears throat> and most shoes, by the way, they will state that they're slip resistant. Pay attention when you walk. That means attention to detail. Our minds are all over the place. So as we walk, be careful, pay attention to the speed in which we're walking or where we're stepping and how we're stepping. The faster we walk or run, the more likely we are to fall, especially if the ground is suddenly or surprisingly uneven. Slowing down, being aware of our environment, you can slow down those chances for falling. So be careful walking or running in any area <clears throat> where the ground might be uneven. Pay attention when taking the stairs and always use a handrail. Use proper safety equipment. If you're performing a task that requires the use of a ladder or similar device, always practice proper safety. Read over the operation manual or safety instructions to make sure we're using the proper device properly. Always check to make sure any ladder or step stool for that matter is secure. It's in good working order. Never ride in a vehicle unsafely. Always enter and mount a vehicle slowly and carefully. And when you're stepping, when you're stepping to get into the vehicle, be aware of your, your footage. Because if it's black ice, ice, snow, you're going to slip. And that potential's there. So we got to be always in tune to what we're doing and how we're doing it. <clears throat> All of us should create a safe environment. Whether it's at home, it's at work, we only need to take a few steps to create that safe environment that removes the most common tripping hazards, if you will. Frequently used rooms and spaces safe from tripping, okay, can greatly reduce the chances of a fall. And we should be reviewing those and uh, thinking about those tips, such as always close drawers after you're done with them. Don't leave cords or wires in lockways. Keep the area well lit. Walk slowly over slippery or dangerous areas, taking small controlled steps. Consider relocating, all right? If you live somewhere with steep stairs and falling could be a concern. Otherwise, make sure handrails are there or a banister, if you will. Use non-slip mats, all right? Uh, in a tub or bathroom, consider installing a grab bar. Critical, important. Remove small throw rugs and use double-sided tape to make absolutely sure of the non-slip up or slip. Improve your strength and balance with exercise. Weak legs and muscles can increase your chance of falling. Gentle exercises, all right, can improve that. Not only consider, but do it. Be aware of medications that might affect the balance. Some medications, for that matter, can cause dizziness or drowsiness, which can increase the chances of a fall. Talk to your doctor about those. And last but not least, preventing falls. We got to think what we're doing. We got to look what we're doing and where we're going. And it's got to be a concerted effort every day, every moment of every day, whether it's home are at work. And the last thing is, we talked about ladders. But these ladders, when it's ice, snow, if it's raining, I don't care what it is, we should always make certain, remember, that our feet are clear of hazards along with the steps on a ladder before we use it. That's my message for the week. Have a great and safe week. Take care, everyone.